Hello everyone. We're on we're gonna go uh on intermission right quick. And till or be right back until we get some people in chat. Or at least some viewers. Mm -hmm. How are y'all this Sunday? Well, it's a beautiful Sunday morning. The birds are chirping, the sun is somewhat shining. And all of us are here to watch a VTuber talk about how to become a VTuber. <laughs> yeah. All right. I guess we should get on today's itinerary. Slash agenda. VTuber 101. We got some things to talk about. Because it's about time we talk about this. Y'all may have seen some changes in the goals. Uh, we have a bit goal, we got a subscription goal, and we got a donation goal. Also on stream chat, y'all can now, like, in the chat box here, and finally talk about what you want to talk about. But please abide by the rules of the stream. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. So. VTuber 101. Ooh. About time I got this off the ground. Allow me to gain my composure. Because, uh, yeah. So, how does one become a VTuber? How do you start off your journey? How do you learn to stand on your own two feet as a VTuber? And how do you make it? These are all excellent questions to ask. And everyone asks them. Everyone wonders. Everyone ponders. How do I become a VTuber? How do I start? Where do I start from? Well, here today, I'm here to give you the knowledge that all y'all are seeking. We have five lessons. Lesson one, studying and research. It's quite simple. You need to study up on other VTubers that have come before you. The big ones, the small ones, and the great ones. You also need to understand which ones have made mistakes and which ones have not. So you do not rinse and repeat. During your studying, you will understand this. They even more so studying on VTuber models, assets, and the different platforms of models. You also need to study into tracking software. Always very important with a VTuber to have tracking software. Studying is very important. Next, Researching. Researching on what type of VTuber you want to be. How do you become a VTuber? Studying and research play hand in hand, basically. They're the same thing, but they play hand in hand with each other. Next. You must know what type of VTuber you want to be and content creator. For me, I have struggled with this. Uh, well, at least the content creator aspect. The VTuber aspect, I always know what I wanted to be. A mercenary type VTuber. A mercenary soldier type VTuber, if you will. 
I have gone through several iterations of my VTuber in my first and going on into my second year. For the sake of standing out and being original. We will go into all that here in a second. Now, you understand that studying and research is important and knowing what type of VTuber and what type of action you want to have. What's your next step? Well, the third step is finally creating your own VTuber. We will go over the basis of how to create your own 3D VTuber. I do not do 2D for I'm a 3D. 2D stands for two dimensional. It takes a flat PNG art and you cut it up into teeny tiny bitsies and put it into a software for it to do all the tracking for you of the model. It's always very important to have a couple of devices for this. Camera, microphone, headset, and PC. Rather it be a laptop or a desktop or even a cell phone at times. It just matters if you got one of those top of the line cell phones or even that of a tablet that is capable of handling all the software and your models tracking. Any one of these four devices are important. You need these devices along with the camera the microphone and the headset to give off a good overall experience for your streaming and content creation. The other devices you'll need are tracking software as well. For VTuber models, this is important as you cannot be tracked without the software. You'll come off like a goofy goober if you do not have the tracking software. So getting a hold of the essentials you need for VTubing is also very important. We will be going over some of the, the facts you need, including that of some of the products you'll have to get to do this. Step three is gaining the project products and overall creating your VTuber model. We will also go over softwares and yet again, how to create your first model for basically nothing at all. You can also buy things and I guess we'll cover that in step three. Step four, <clears throat> setting up your career. This is setting up your channels such as Twitter, not Twitter, but uh, Twitch.tv, YouTube. Maybe you want to do it on kick. I'm not a kicker. I, I do not kick. I do not do kick. Simply because kick is a kick in the pants. <laughs> See what I did there? All right. Next, we need to cover, obviously, in this. Now you know what sites you want to go to. Creating the accounts are also very important in keeping them safe. I would highly suggest not streaming on YouTube, as Google slash YouTube security purposes are literal garbage. We have seen that with other channels such as Manga Common and recently one of the most unfortunate individuals of groups, the Schmuck Squad. They have had their channels... <clears throat> contacted by individuals that forcibly downloaded software onto their PCs, destroying their work, taking away their Google chat, their uh, Google accounts, and their channel. Manga Comet was able to come back due to very close affiliates have dealt with this before. And it took him a while to get his channel back. It'll take a while for the Schmuck Squad to recover what's left of their channel, as they're now dealing with a lot of their stuff on Grimjack's own channel. I wish the best for them. Always remember, streaming on YouTube is a dangerous endeavor. So, oh, you know the platforms you want to stream on. 
is part four. Part five, finally creating your content and streaming and coming up with an affirmative plan. These are the five lessons we'll be going over today on VTuber 101. Let's get started. So, studying. Yes, always very important to study. Looking at other VTubers, both big and small, such as corporate VTubers or indies, or even ones that are just planning to start out but they have not hit the platform. It's always very important to take a look at their VTuber, what they're planning for their VTuber, and how they're going to do it. Some of them are more secretive, some of them are more open. Others don't talk about what they're planning to do or how they're going to do it. It's simply because they are protecting their future career choice from the <clears throat> um, children that wish to career in their careers before it begins. Well, this is unsettling, but it is scary. It is frightening slash scary to know that there's people out there that wish to end other content creators on the platform. Always studying all the other VTubers to make sure their models, their acts, their, their lore, and legacy is very important. If there's a few trailblazers I must mention in the big leagues you must look at, I would highly suggest Mary Weatherly, Project Melody, Taka or Not, Shy Lily, and even that of Nux Taku, Kazon, Amelie, yeah, as those are some of the big leaguers. Let's mention some of no, the uh, small leaguers. The Cal VTuber, Kisal. You also got another VTuber I'm going to mention. <clears throat> Even though she's somewhere in the middle, Ellie, the crime boss VTuber, she is an indie, and she's really good. Also, looking at, at other VTubers such as Buff Pop, and various others that I could go on mentioning for a long time is very important. Now, you must also, during your studying, being aware of big industries. Big industry VTubers are very important to be aware of, or at least their industry businesses. You need to do research into the industry world as Depending on what industry you want to try to enter into, research into their business's choices, handling their VTubers and their affiliated company owners, company owner, is very important. As looking into things like Nisi Sanji, yeah, I believe uh, another one is V Sojo, another one is Hollow Live. There's a lot of agencies out there, and what you need to do is do a ton of studying in these endeavors. Studying these big agencies are always very important, because you never know if they contact you or if you want to contact them to get hired. Knowing what they are capable and what they're not capable of and how they handle their industries and their employees and even their streamers are always very important for your future endeavors. While studying other VTubers and industries and even indies can be to your benefit, you should also study it into the rules. There are several rules that I'm going to mention that they should only be broken under the most extreme of situations because they will will help you make it, but if you have to break them to defend yourself, then in all intents and purposes, only use this as a final last ditch resort. I recently broke one of these golden age rules. Never reveal yourself, your true self. I revealed my fourth dimensional self to defend me on Twitter slash X in my career toys. I am not an idiot. I know internet websites are going to archive it. 
I know this happens. I did this to try to stop the people falsely investigating me for being a little child behind a dimensional VTuber character or a three-dimensional character. Now, I mentioned how you handle 2D dimensional characters. But 3D dimensional characters is what I deal with. This is my third dimensional character. Don't believe me? 2D dimensional characters are basically flat. They're not well-rounded. Uh, let me uh, get to the point. Hold on, like I'm trying to... <laughs> okay, hold on. I guess I'm going to have to use the game controller to, uh, or at least click my VTuber. Try to, okay, see? Well-rounded. Well-shaped. All right, all right. Now that y'all see that uh, third dimensional here, three-dimensional is a fully rounded fully sculpt VTuber. Uh, Two-dimensional is flat and can easily sometimes, depending on the software you're using, be mistaked for 3D. You'll learn this in your research and or studying. Always remember, stream chat, y'all have a box now where y'all can engage me and talk to me if y'all have any questions on this subject. And please be on the subject here today of VTuber 101 classes in session. Now, you've done all the research, and next you need to look into ooh, uh, <clears throat> how do you want to create your first 3D e VTuber model? For me, I create the hard basis form on none other. Then Vroid Studios. This can be downloaded off the internet and or Steam for free. You don't believe me if this can be used to create VTuber models? Then allow me to show you. As I open up the magical box. So far, these are some of the models I've created. This is uh, Big Bad Daddy D. This is one of my earlier works. This is the bland basis model of Geo Strider. This is Oshi Williams. That will be heavily retooling in the near future. This is my, uh, well, body scarred. And this is my uh, summer outfit that... Uh, uh, for the beach that is still currently under development. These are all current models that I've been creating and working on. If you don't believe me, let's go into further. Let's go into one of my old models. This is one of my earliest models. Model 3.0. As it's loading, From here, you can create the eye sets, irises. Please allow me. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back, everyone. So this is how you create things in the Aroid Studios. You got the eye sets. You got the irises. You got the eye highlights. This is where you add custom, like, little... Oh, like, what looks like glitchy little oil animations. You got the irises. That's the white behind the eye. You got the eyebrows, the eyelids, the eyeliner, if you want, eyelashes. Nose, mouth, inside the mouth, lips, cheeks, skin, face paint, and the expressor. This is where you make your feelings. Happy, sad, angry. 
I mean smiling, sad, angry, happy, surprised, closed, closed right, closed left. And this is for the eyes, of course, right here. Then you can start creating your own hairstyles. With this, you can remove current hairstyles. And this is the hair set. So this is a full-on hair set that's already made. You really don't want to go with a bland hair set. So you have the front of the hair. You can create your own pre choose one of the presets or create your own custom. You can do the same for the back of the hair. Choose the back of your hair or make a custom. Overall hair, same thing. Extensions. This is where you add like ponytails or stuff like that. Or you can go with something like here, of course. Very simple. You got sides. This is side bangs is what you can create for the model. You got this. These are these, these spunky little boinged up heads that you can put on any VTuber model to give a spunky little uh, weird look. You have extra. Uh, these are extra little spoingy little pieces of hair you can add. And then you have the base hair. This is what's underneath the hair to make sure that, yes, this is where the base color comes from, the base look of the hair. Then you have the body. Mm, look at that body. Mm, mm, look at that body. Mm, mm. Come on now, look at that body. So I didn't go with the presets. I went with buying a male body skin to replace my current skin. And this is the skin I currently go with, the body scar. I bought a previous, I bought this skin, and what I did is I exported the texture by going to Edit Texture. And what I did is I went to here, I right click, I left click, and I went to export. I then exported the texture and put it in a file. What I then did went to 3D's Windows Paint, and then added the body scars that I found some uh, basic healed over body scars online. You can find basic art of all of this online from things like Google search engine, Bing search engine, search engine, search engine, search engine. You can find the images online. They're not that hard to find. Then you use 3D's paint to literally add the image onto the exported body art image. Very simple, very easy, very good to the point. It's not that difficult. Next, you got the outfit. For me, I did not go with the whole sets. The whole sets are rather bland. You always want to stand out from the whole sets. So, tops. With this, I created my own jacket. This is the one I'm currently using. I have previous jackets that I've designed myself. Each one of them are hugely out of date compared to this one. Next, you have presets for pants. You can always use these for skirts and pants for a basis of the model's creation. That's what I do. Then I take it over to custom and I custom edit it. The belt you see right here on bottoms was an image I found online and put on the model on my uh, previous earliest models. It's very simple, very easy to do. You do the same thing with it, as I mentioned before, with the jacket. You export the, the art file, and you edit the art file in things in Photoshop or 3D ePaint. E Not that hard. If you're a female VTuber, you can go with dresses. You can add things like ties or bows. Arm accessories such uh, as gloves and even wristbands, all that. You can add inner tops. You can add <clears throat> um, undergarments for males and females. 
You can add socks, you can add shoes, and you do all the custom editing the way I mentioned before. You can even add accessories. I still haven't figured out how this works entirely. The accessories tab to add your own custom accessories, but you can put on glasses, you can add fur ears, you can even add <laughs> tails now. They recently added tails. Nice. They did an update. I appreciate it. And this is look. This is where obviously you work on the outlines of your model. The rim light, the shading, the eye alignment, and the bones. The bones are very important for the model to uh, be able to react to ooh, your movements. This self-rigs everything. Then what you do when you're done editing your model, you can either export it as VRM or upload it to VRM Hub to an account that you create through VROID Hub. Or you can export as a 3D printing, as a paint. VROID Studios is excellent to create your own VTuber model. Next, we need to go over as you created your VTuber model, what's your first best tracking software for your first year? There is one that currently you can get for free that there's no payments for. VC Face It. It's free, but if your computer registers as a toaster, it will not be at its full or potential. It will be very limited of what it can and cannot do. For most of my first year, I went with another one, Animes. It's free to download, but if you want to remove the watermark, there's two things you can do while having access to all the features. You can pay $20 to have all the features and remove the watermark, and even have a, well, and I quote, um, a empty background to blend in with your PC's overall background. That, guess what? This entire room is the background on my computer right now. Magic Mirror is what I'm currently going with. It's a program that you can buy off of Booth, a Japanese website that sells it for 500 Japanese yen. This means, obviously, how much is 500 Japanese yen to equivalent to U.S. dollars. I am an American, I am a gaijin, and I bought this equivalent in Japan for 500 yen for the U.S. It merely only cost me underneath $6.50, as I cannot remember the entire price. You can also go with Wardo. It's free to download, and it's pretty good. It's still in its early days of tracking, and you need 3D backgrounds for its 3D features to work with your 3D model. They already have presets on the site, but I would suggest never be satisfied with already made backgrounds Try to be extravagant and create your own, is what I would suggest, and then upload your 3D background. There's also another one I can mention, but they're a bit more expensive. They have, obviously, for a monthly subscription, around $14 US, yearly for 12 months, $14. You'll end up paying around, obviously, around $140 to $150 for a year subscription. This is also good for 3D models, VTuber editor. You can also create other models with e v Zoo Studios. What is wrong with my English here today? Zoo Studios is where you can create a fluffy little animal VTuber. It is free to download, but to add other fluffy animal models to download, you not only have to purchase the animal, but you have to purchase the subscription to it. 
there is one more tracking software that is still quite young and it's prototype phases, Ava Kit. It has not been around for a while. It is very advanced, but due to its advanced tracking features, it bugs out. It's free to download, free to use. It has a couple of things it needs to get done to make sure that it's fully operable and capable of handling VTuber models. And these are some of the um, tracking software I have looked into. My anime A's VTuber -er purchase will expire on July. As that's when I started using it, around some month in July, I will not be continuing the payment with it. As it's not very good, doesn't get many updates as it should, and the features are uh, unique. Of course, they do have a ton of props already added, and you can add your own props. But sadly, on what part of the body, you can only add one prop at a time. So let's just say, okay, you want to add a sword on your back. You can only add one item on your overall chest area. As you can see from my chest area, I not only have a sword, I not only have a morpher. I also have a pistol on my hip that registers in that area. You can also add sunglasses. I previously had different sunglasses, the coffin glasses, that was on the software. I cannot uh, export that model as it's exclusive to animes. I wish I could have brought it with my model, but this is why I went with the CSI Miami glasses and very easily. Tracking software and VTuber soft and creating your first VTuber model is always unique and somewhat difficult, but it's not too scary. So, now you've created your first model, you got your first tracking software, or at least you got those. Now, what you need to do is set up your channels and where you want your content to be while also choosing the type of content you want to do. Do you want to do uh, drama? Do you want to do asthma videos? Do you want to do such as things as gaming? These are all excellent questions that you must look at yourself and ask what I want to do so I don't get burned out. And you should never limit yourself to one type of game. Never, ever. As a VTuber, you have a multiple choice of plethora of gaming genres, such as action, adventure, RPGs, freaking shooters, heck, even card games. VTubers are not limited to one type of genre of gaming or that of one type of company of gaming. We have a plethora of games to choose from, when and where we want to be. This is why VTubing is so expressive and exciting. You can play games, you can express yourself, you can be your own individual. And your VTuber model should reflect that. Reflect what you wanted to be and how you always wanted to be. What you look like and how you want to look. And what you always wanted to be even though you can't. There is nothing wrong with being a VTuber. Next, obviously. So we've gone over a lot of subjects, but there's still just a one last thing to understand. What you should and shouldn't do as a VTuber. It depends if you go with a male model or female model or what model you go with. But we're looking at a gender specifically right now as a huge no-no. So one of the huge no-nos is coming off, if you're a male VTuber, very horny with other female VTubers. It upsets them, it angers them, it chases them away. You can be witty, funny, or from time to time, um, just a wee little bit horny. 
but you should never be directly horny to them. It upsets them, it frightens them, it angers them, and they shun you away. I am guilty of this issue. As a single male, V-card still installed, yada, yada, yada. In the fourth dimension, at least. Third dimension, not so much. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, y'all don't know what the fourth dimension is? It's the real dimension. It's where all of you are a part of. That is the fourth dimension. It's called being fourth dimensional. Next, obviously, the next thing you shouldn't do as a VTuber is attack and harass other VTubers or content creators. You should only do it if they come after you with false accusations and allegations while they're trying to destroy your image. If you know you're innocent and if you can prove you are innocent, do so efficiently and effectively, and then milk them for all they are worth for content. I do not care for doing that. I do not like doing that. But as a VTuber, you will learn this is something you have to do. Whether you like it or not is not the question. The question is, you have to do it. People are always trying to destroy you and your career choice. It's as simple as that. It's the proper and effective way to defend yourself while milking them for all they're worth. Yes, it may end up getting them in hot water, and they may tell you, but I'm being attacked by your fan base. Please stop it, you're a horrible person. We're not being horrible. We are defending ourselves by using you as content. It's how the VTubing scene works. It's how we defend ourselves appropriately. If you don't like that, then you shouldn't be attacking VTubers in the first place. This is how we respond to hate, attack, false allegations, and use the y'all that try to end our careers to better our own. It's how it works. But then they're like, no, don't do that! You're hurting me! Yes, we are hurting you, because you're hurting us. You are attacking us. If you expected us to lay down, be taken to a woodshed in a burlesque bag, and be beaten by your words that are filled with reeds and sharp barbed metal barbs, if you will, to attack our career choices, then we will lash out back in our own way. You should never, never pick a fight with a VTuber unless you have 100% evidence to prove of their wrongdoings. If you don't have that evidence, you have no valid argument. And then we will milk you for all your worth. And there goes my cell phone again. Weather. Okay, whatever. But anyways, yes. That's how you appropriately respond to um, individuals that are trying to respond to cancel you. You use them. You milk them. And then they destroy themselves under their own failures and wait. Oh, What's a beautiful bee jumping life it is for oh, me. Now, obviously, let's continue. The next thing you shouldn't do as a VTuber, and I quote, is use your career to, and I quote, <clears throat> hurt the individuals in your industry. I have never used my VTuber to harm other content creators in the field I'm in. 
As a matter of fact, I've always been funny, witting, and engaging. I've heard things about other VTubers that have also been false. And I'm quickly planning to uh, fix this issue, if not in its entirety. As yes. I will admit, there's individuals that are spreading lies, rumors, and slanders about me because I am a male VTuber and they don't know when to stop. So you must make them stop. And next, obviously, the next thing you shouldn't do as a VTuber is get into religious, cultist, or political debates. Or even questions. But this scares off your fan base. It makes them upset, they don't want to watch you, or even enjoy your content. There's some that do, some that don't. Getting into religious, cultists, or political views or debates will always chase off your followers that watch your streams and your content. They really do not care for that. They're here to be entertained. They want to forget their troubles and enjoy the streamer and or content creator while being informed about things that are not a part of the three E, e no-nos, religion, cults, and debates of government factions. This is not a VTuber's domain to touch. This is a big, huge no-no. Next, obviously, another thing you should be aware of is a huge no-no with your VTuber model is completely copying somebody else's work. Copying their model, their designs, their art, or even their er, career and or voice is a huge no-no on your own model. As it's a huge crime in the eyes of VTubers. If you want VTubers to collab with you, you don't do this. You don't use voice changers of VTubers to, and I quote, fill in a PNG art of the VTuber in an animation. It never goes over well, and VTubers will become weary and angry at you and you will be dealt with efficiently and affirmatively and even cut off from the resources. I have never done this. Also, as a VTuber, if you have friends that want to join you in VTubing, you need to bring them up to speed of how the industry works, how everything is done, from creating a model to editing, to tracking, to streaming, to original content creation. This is always very important to tell the ones that are wanting to join you, that are your close personal friends, what and how to do it effectively and affirmatively and correctly. This is how you become a VTuber. Now, other individuals have accused my voice right now to be an AI. My voice is not an AI. It's not under a voice changer right now. This is my actual voice. You should uh, at least try to use your actual voice or at least distort it where it sounds a little different. For me, I don't distort my actual voice. I don't change it. This is my voice. My smooth, velvety, overall voice. You may not enter this domain, for you will be in trouble by the VTuber or overall community as you will be dealt with efficiently and correctly with absolute brutality. 
This is a fact. <laughs> I hope Brother Alpha Busa can understand what I did there. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of voice acting. It's always funny and witty to do that. All right, so yeah, that's something. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Now, uh, last thing I'm going to cover that you shouldn't do that I've come across. And this is another one that you shouldn't do as a VTuber. But it's tricky. It's a tricky slope, and you should know who you're contacting to create your model, or how the, and how much they're asking. You should always check out the person that contacts you about creating your first model, or a model for you. If they have recently created an account within less than a year, you know something is sus and up. These are scam artists. It's not always the case, but they are out there. They're out there. They give you their information. Say, hey, you know, I'm an artist. I create VTuber models and backgrounds and stream lays, all that good kind of stuff. Why don't you come over to my Twitter account to see my stuff? Now, every Twitter account has a date that shows when they ended up on Twitter. If they've ended up on there in less than six months to a year, and they have not created a lot of art posts, and I mean they need a lot, not just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten posts. No, they have to create more than over 50 posts to show that there are and an efficient artist in the field. If they don't have 50 different posts of different art commissions they have done and or completed, they cannot be relied upon, and they are trying to scam you. This is not always the case, though. Sometimes they create an alternate account to, and I quote, create new content for other customers as their current account has come under false flames or Allegations or, or even that of claims. You should always, con when they contact you, always ask information. You know, do you have a previous account? Or are you just starting out? You know, always investigate. Always be smart about this when an artist contacts you about creating art. Rather it's for your background inlays, rather it's for your background, rather it's your VTuber model, the rigging, the tracking, etc. As they can be very expensive. From the model, it can cost somewhere around 300 to $400, considering on the person. Then the rigging can cost even more, as that's more time consuming, as the rigging can cost somewhere on to another 300 to $500. And then, finally, yeah, obviously, after the rigging's done, then you have to hand over the money to get the model. Always be aware that they claim to do this, but if they never send you any results during the making of your model, if they never send you any feedback, you know something is sus, you know something is up, and they have been lying to you the entire time. They have been and goading you on without any actual video or pictured results of your model. It's always very important to know this about VTuber artists. Unless they stay in constant contact with you about the development of the model, then you are being used and they're goading you on to get your money. With all that now mentioned, now, oh, what should you do to succeed as a VTuber? For me, I had a plan. First, start out on YouTube, creating unique videos on YouTube. In my second year, I was finally planning to stream. I have run into complications with my current PC's build, 
and my current internet company as I go with Earthlake. I have recently found out from other sources and individuals that I need to put my cell phone on a cell phone company's plan and get a router, a hotspot router, to connect to my cell phone's plan. Once all that is done, that means the limitations of what big bad internet companies have in place on their overall services can be bypassed and you don't have to worry about lag frame drops or even your stream being cut off. This is what I'm attempting to do next month. Take my cell phone to Verizon. Put it on a cell phone Verizon plan. And then get a Verizon hotspot as I will be let go. Uh, I will be letting go of Earthlink. As they are inefficient for my streaming needs. And they are incapable of using an appropriate upload signal for streaming. Download signals do not help with streaming. That takes stuff from the internet. It's upload signals you need for streaming, uploading your videos, uploading your streaming, uploading your projects. Upload speed is what you need. A hotspot and cell phone plan with the hotspot is what you need for appropriate streams. I'll be doing this next month when I have more money in my pocket. So my streams can be more stable and even that more efficient. I know a couple of y'all are probably wondering what about devices that are supposed to enhance or even that of spread the signal. There's no devices that enhance internet signals. The internet signal comes from the internet company. You cannot enhance your upload speed on your end. You cannot enhance your download speed on your end. They can only do it on their end. That's how the company do things. All you can do as a future streamer is get an efficient cell phone and get a hotspot Wi-Fi router. I must thank the individuals that brought this to my attention. I did not know this. And I was given a big fat lie by Earthlink that is affiliated by AT&T. As the lie, the cake was a lie. The cake was made out of cow dung. Mm, the cake breading. The cake icing was made out of horse manure. And the decorations were made out of chicken scratches. As... Yes, that is brutal, but that is also truthful. I've always believed the truth is far more better than a lie. As the truth is the only thing that can make you succeed in life. While not taking off everyone. But it takes them off anyways, because people want sweet nothing lies and never want the truth. When they're hit with the truth, they call you crazy. They call you insane. They say you need to be put in an insane asylum. Yada, 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 yada. Don't get me started any more than I'm already starting myself up with this. Now, with all of this now mentioned, and like, I was going to have this to be three hours long, but we just basically covered all the subjects in less than an hour. Why do I do this to myself? Why? Yeah! All right, I guess I should bring up the props that I've bought and, well, I've bought. Let's go to the facts, as there are several websites I went with for these purchases, such as Tissy Booth and, I, and I quote, uh, what was the website again? C-G-E-T Trader. Uh, allow me to bring up the sites right quick. So I can prove the purchases that I've made.
as soon as I can find out how the purchase, uh, or, like, the history of the purchases. Okay. Oi. Purchases. Okay, there's that. Now I need to go to, uh, the Okay. There's both. And bring out the tissy. I call it a tissy because, like, that's not supposed to be pronounced. I don't know why they call it other things, but, uh, eh, whatever. Yeah, all right. So, allow me to start off with Tissy, as I made one purchase from them. I made a purchase for a B-Roid skin male suit. Nice, huh? This is the suit I currently use for my uh, VTubers' uh, muscles. Purchase history here on Booth. Magical Mirror. Full edition. It is fully completed. This means, obviously, I bought it from here. A purchase from CGT Trader was Sci-Fi Gun. Get ready for k textures from Miloski. Real nice guy. He allowed me to buy it. Real nice. I bought the Starlight Saber from Un... Ma Un... Your man... G Stark. Your Mongo Stark. Okay, that's how you pronounce that. And that was 14. This was 16. According to our member, like I said, almost around 650. And this only cost me five dollars. Uh, the morpher I found online for like download from one site for absolutely free. I edited it myself with the coin of the white lion and a dark magician ring. Real simple, real easy. You can also get a lot of these things for free. The glasses I also got for free. As a free download from another site. Can't remember what it is. Um, that one's somewhat forgetful. But there's a lot of like models you can get on there. And items and accessories. Some of them for free. Some of them for purchase. The real simple, easy e-purchases to get. Simple enough. Simple enough. All in all, from what I presented, I spent less than $30. From the gun, to the sword, to the tracking software currently I'm using is Magical Mirror, and obviously the male skin. These are just real simple, easy purchases. They're not really that much. I know a lot of people say VTubering is expensive. It, yes, it can be if you make it. But it won't be if you don't make it. You see, everyone can become a VTuber. The 2D market is currently flooded with a lot of 2D models. There's not very many 3D models as the tracking software is quite limited. But Content creators like Fillion have broke this mile, this problem. As there's a device you can use that can be put on your wrist, ankles, and or hip to track your VTuber model more accurately. I'll see about getting this for myself in the near future. 
but that purchase, what I understand, to be somewhere around $200 to $300 US. And I'm still in my VTubers infancy, if you will, of my career. As, yes, everyone has a chance to be a VTuber. But there's rules, there's ways, there's studying, and creating your own model is all very important. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me for VTuber 101. How a small income VTuber, such as myself, small income individual, has become a VTuber. And you can become one too if you put in the time, the effort, and little bit of money. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, VTuber and VTuberettes of all shapes, sizes, ages, and augmentations, I have been Commander Devin Lionheart. This stream has come to a close. We are going offline. Until next time, my loyal future mercenaries.